are our souls at stake. Let's give it our best. Let's take them back. Back to the Bible. Welcome to Reaching the Lost Success Strategies. When I was preaching at the Willett Church of Christ in Red Boiling Springs, Tennessee, went to the elders with an idea. We wanted to get the members more involved, and we also wanted the members more informed. Well, those two things go together. Is they're more informed and more involved. What we notice is that as a mission-minded church, a lot of the mission efforts that were being conducted, things that we were doing, the members were completely unaware. Although they were announced or perhaps there were reports put on a bulletin board, the members still really didn't know what was going on. The solution I suggested was on the fifth Sundays or even monthly, let's have coordinator reports. Let's establish coordinators first. Let's select men, men that are qualified, that would be, you know, good reputation. Uh, maybe even a training ground to be deacons. They could be deacons, maybe not. But let's ask them to assign them a certain mission effort, ask them to be the communication point so that the missionary would know, hey, if you need something, contact them. They'll go to the elders. They can be informed. They can keep up with the reports, but they can give reports to the church and let the church know what's going on. We found out it worked very well. The church members were more excited. The congregation were informed of the various works we were doing. Recently, a congregation in Missouri, the Forest Hill Congregation, contacted me and said, hey, Rob, we're doing coordinator reports. We're taking the coordinators you delineated in your model. You see, in our model, you got to have coordinators. For example, we want a coordinator for those who train and form the group that greet visitors. We want a coordinator for those who go door knocking, a coordinator for the compassion card ministry, a coordinator for the new movers ministry, a coordinator for house to house, heart to heart, a coordinator for a variety of different efforts for new converts. Now, those coordinators, they need to know that particular work. They meet, even need to meet with their group, train their group, ask people to help them. They don't do all the work themselves. But now listen to this. Now, these coordinators, they can go before the church and they can give reports. So on the a monthly basis or a quarterly basis, I believe Forrest is doing it on a monthly basis. These men stand before the church and they let the church know, hey, here's my area of responsibility. Here's who's on the team. Here's what we're doing. Now, do you realize if a congregation is not aware of what you're doing, if they don't understand the model, if they're not aware of the processes, they can't help you. In fact, they may even work against you. It's important that we educate, inform the membership. That creates the spark plug effect. It helps energize, motivate. It makes sure that people understand what's going on. You might even get people saying, hey, I'd like to help. I'd be more willing to do this since now that I know what's going on. Now, these coordinators should give results. They should talk about now, how many baptisms, how many contacts, how many prospects, how many Bible studies. I mean, if their area of work touches one of these areas, and let's be honest, everything we do should focus on the one mission. Remember, there's just one mission. There's not two. There's not three. The one mission given by Christ to go and make disciples, to seek and save the lost. Everything we're doing, every coordinator, every work we're involved in needs to revolve around the one mission. So as uh, elders, or maybe you're the administrator of this good work, let's appoint coordinators and let's get those coordinators to give reports. Perhaps even have them write an article or an update in the bulletin. Publish it. Let the church know what's going on. Brother, we found it. Well, that worked very well. In Missouri, at Forrester, it's working well. So now it's time to launch it. Just like all the things that we do in our school, Success breeds success. When you have success, we want to know it. When you got an idea, let's see if it works. And if it does, let's make sure every congregation of our Lord at least knows about it. We want you to succeed. We want you to be successful in your efforts to save souls and reach the lost. Right? We know you can do it. The more you get the members on board, the more information you give them, the better it's going to be in the long run. So to God be the glory in all the efforts you're doing, and may souls be saved. We just plant and water, then watch God see the increased start. There are souls at stake, let's give it our best, let's take them back, back to the Bible.